Hi everyone, just reminding you in this video of something we've actually done before called, well something I like to call double distribution, um, because I think it's all encompassing, it describes exactly what you want to do in this situation like this, but first let's remember just distribution. Um, so distribution is how I would, for instance, multiply 5 by the parentheses 2x plus 4. I would distribute it to both of these terms, I would get 10x plus 20, right? Or I can back up, we could distribute a negative 3. Distribute a negative 3, it would act very much the same way. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Okay. Um, and whatever we put there, whatever it is, we're just going to distribute it, right? So if I put uh, a happy face there, well, if I'm going to multiply a happy face by 2x plus 4, I'm going to distribute the happy face to the 2x and to the 4. So I would get a happy face times 2x, whatever that means, plus happy face times 4, whatever that means, right? Whatever you see out there, whatever it is, we distribute it to each of the terms, okay? So what if that thing is... Parentheses. Well, it would look like this. I distribute the parentheses to the 2x, I distribute it to the 4, it would look like 2x times parentheses plus 4 times parentheses. All right. And if something's in those parentheses, like a negative 5x plus 3, well, distributing that will look like right, the whole parentheses will get distributed to the 2x, so that'll look like 2x times the parentheses negative 5x negative 5x plus 3. Then we'll distribute the entire parentheses to the 4. That'll look like 4 times negative 5x plus 3. Okay, now what do we do? Well, now we have one additional uh, distribution uh, stage there and another stage of distribution there that will look like 2x times negative 5x. Okay, now 2 times negative 5 would be negative 10. And the x times the x, by definition, that's x squared. 2x times 3 will be 6x. And that distribution is done. Now we'll distribute the 4 to the negative 5. That 4 times negative 5x will be negative 20x. 4 times 3 will be a positive 12. We have like terms here in the middle. So we'll get negative 10x squared minus 14x plus 12. Okay. So that, I mean, if you, can, if you think you can carry that on to more and more complicated problems where you have three terms and four terms, or three terms here and three terms there, then you're ready for it. Double distribution. You just distribute the first parentheses into every term in the second parentheses, uh, and then distribute what you get in the second step here. Collect, collect like terms, and you're good to go. Here's another example. Uh, we're going to distribute this stuff that's outside this parentheses into the parentheses. So we're going to distribute the 4x plus 9 to the 3x. That'll look like 3x times 4x plus 9. Now we're going to distribute the 4x plus 9 to the negative 8. And that'll look like negative 8 times 4x plus 9. And now we have to simplify this step. 3x gets distributed in here. Negative 8 gets distributed as well. 3x times 4x is 12x squared. Remember to multiply the x's together. 3x times 9 is 27x. Now we're going to distribute the negative 8 to this parentheses. Negative 8 times 4x is negative 32x. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. And 12x squared, that's the only x squared term, so we'll leave it there. We have uh, like terms here, 27x minus 32x, that's a negative 5x minus 72. And there we have it. We're done. If, it, if we're asked to multiply those two polynomials together, this is it. This is the product of those two polynomials using double distribution. 
Okay, using this approach, we can multiply this parentheses by even three terms. We just need to distribute it to one more term than we have been. So we're going to distribute the entire parentheses to this x squared, which will be x squared times negative x plus 2. Then we distribute the entire parentheses to the negative 3x, which will look like negative 3x times negative x plus 2. And then we distribute the entire parentheses to the positive 8, which will look like 8 times, again, negative x plus 2. Now we'll distribute the x squared to the negative x. Pay attention here. We have x squared times negative x. That's negative x times x times another x. That's x to the third. So we're multiplying two x's by another x. We got x to the third. Three x's being multiplied together. Now we distribute the x squared to the 2. 2x two squared. Now we do the second uh, distribution here. Negative 3x times negative x. That would be a negative times a negative is a positive. 3. And x times x is x squared. So positive 3x squared. Negative 3x times 2. Negative 6x. And the final, the third and final uh, distribution, 8 times negative x is negative 8x. 8 times 2 is 16. And we look for any like terms, x cubed. There's no other x cubed, so we got negative x cubed. That's it. Uh, we have a couple of x squared terms here, a 2x squared plus 3x squared. That's a total of 5x squared. Negative 6x minus 8x. Negative 6x minus 8x. That's negative 14x. And 16 is the only constant. There we go. One last one. Three terms by three terms. All right. So let's see how that goes. We'll take the entire parentheses, just distributing here. Just like we distributed the happy face, we're distributing the entire parentheses to this first term first. That will be 3x squared times. 2x squared minus 6x plus 2. Uh, next, we'll distribute it to the 4x. That'll look like plus 4x times 2x squared minus 6x plus 2. All right, we're going to distribute it to the third term now. That'll look like a negative 3 times 2x squared minus 6x plus 2. All right. Now we have three distribution problems again, and that's the double part of it. We distribute it once. We have a second set of or a second step of distributing, and uh, then we have collecting like terms. So, three x squared times two x squared. That's three times two is six. X squared times x squared. That's x times x times x times x. That's x times x times x times x. That's x to the fourth. Then we distribute the 3x squared to the negative 6x. That's going to be a negative 18x to the third. x squared times x would be x to the third. And lastly here, 3x squared times 2 is going to be 6x squared. Now we move on to the second distribution here. 4x times 2x squared is 8x to the third. Move it a little faster now. Negative 24x squared plus 8x. Now the last one here. Negative 3 is being distributed into the parentheses. Negative 6x squared. Positive 18x and negative 6. And now we look for our like terms. Uh, there are no other x to the fourths, so that'll be the only x to the fourth term. All right, to the third, to the third. All right, there's a couple of those. So negative 18x to the third plus 8x to the third. Remember, this is in the negative, so it's way to the left of 0. Then we're going to add 8x to the third, which means we're going to come back to the right a little bit. We're going to be at negative 10x to the third. Uh, 6x squared, negative 24x squared, negative 6x squared. There's like terms there. And what's nice is, uh, in this case, 6x squared minus 6x squared is going to be 0. So we're just left with negative 24x squared. That's the, the rest of the x squareds. Uh, Move it along here. Here we have 8x and 18x. 8x plus 18x, 26x. 
lastly, there's just a minus six at the end. That's it. So there we are. If we we're able to follow along there and, and uh, do those on our own, we are multiplying polynomials experts using double distribution. All right, and that's it. Uh, thank you for giving your attention to this video, and I will see you when I return. Bye.